Kids and cadets, good morning, happy Saturday, happy weekend to you. So we're down to the bare minimum here on inventory. Uh, things are slowing down here in southwest Florida as far as sales. Cooler weather's coming down from the north, grass isn't growing as fast. I did sell one this week and I have somebody coming out in a an hour for the uh, red crafty that I just rectified and then somebody wants a cheap mower I'm gonna push them on to this power crap they said what do you got for 120 I had this one listed for 130 so this is gonna go out the door still have this yard machine for 160 I've had it all season I'm gonna have to lower the cost of this one it's only a three-year-old unit as you can see my um, tape is all wrinkled and faded out you can't even see the price on it but it's 160. so busy week ended up buying a Honda Shadow for my son that needs a lot of work. My buddy Matt, the two-cycle vintage motorcycle guru of Manatee County, including Holmes Beach, Anna Maria Island, Lakewood Ranch, and Mayaka City went out with me. We looked it over and bought it. So, also this week, um, he picked up this uh, 2006 Corolla for me. He's a semi-retired car dealer. My brother was looking for a, a cheap car and he found this one at a, a dealer auction. So I got this yesterday and I'm starting to do a little detailing. Maybe my son can help me out with this thing. Smoker had it and um, it's totally trashed inside so I took a little baking soda which will help with the smell sprinkle it on the seats and the carpet and then I'll uh, vacuum this up and then after that I will take uh, wool light and warm water spray it on with just um, a Dollar Tree spray bottle and then uh, wet vac it off of the seats and that'll really pull up all these uh, dark stains so kind of working on this little project. Maybe my brother will take it or he won't, but I'll fix it up to sell. So the um, clear coat burnt off and you can see the um, rusty top here on this thing. So the Florida sun really cooks these if these aren't in the shade or a garage the uv light really screws up this they don't put a lot of paint on these from the factory so i'm gonna i'm gonna mess with painting i i uh, painted a chevy pickup truck maybe 30 years ago a buddy of mine set up the uh paint mixture and set up the gun and showed me how to physically paint but i can't remember all the formulas i've been on youtube and what i want to try to do is a rust-oleum paint job which uh, people have success with you just take regular oil-based rust-oleum thin it down with acetone so what i'll do is buy a gallon of rust-oleum primer prime this thing with a couple of coats of primer and um, go to town spraying it with just a cheap Harbor Freight gun. They're on sale this week, and their $15 guns are $9.99 on the sidewalk sale. And I've watched a couple of videos with those guys using the cheap gun, and they uh, have good luck with the cheap Harbor Freight. So... I'm kind of excited about this project, see what we can do with this thing. It's totally trashed out. They um, just dropped their cigarette ashes here all over the place. They just destroyed this car. So I've seen worse. I've bought worse. I used to buy these 
beat up cars cheap from the dealer auctions, fix them up and resell them as a side gig. And then I shift it into mowers. So this is like uh, deja vu, more or less. So this should be quite the project. As with any painting job, the uh, prep work is the majority of it all. Physically painting it with paint doesn't take very long, but doing all your sanding prep work, I'll take Osfo, as Uncle Brad suggested. He um, actually went with us to get this thing from the auction site, and uh, he transported it. So he's suggesting Osfo on this once it's this rough stuff sanded down, a couple of coats of Osfo, and then a couple of coats of primer, and then the uh, Rust-Oleum. The Rust-Oleum paint job should last um, at least five years in the Florida sun, and he may be on to another car by then if, if my brother takes it. So I think we can make this thing look pretty. Mechanically, it's perfect. Tires are good. Stop, starts. The AC is cold. Needs four hubcaps. There's two broken hubcaps in the trunk, so they probably fell off one by one. And what else? The plastic bumper here, I can rectify this, do some um, bracing in the back. It's not going to look like it came out of the factory, but it won't be dragging. So I'm not going to spend much money on the resurrection. I could probably do the um, paint job for hundred under 200 bucks, including all the sandpaper, tack paper, paper, hardener, the uh, gallon of primer. So cheapy cheap on this. Noticed yesterday there's a slight crack here in the windshield. Not all the way. Looks like a rock. Small rock hit right here in the middle and kind of gave us a spider crack. So this is what I'm going to be doing in the fall when the humidity goes down trying to paint this thing. Probably in Florida it's so damn humid it, um, it's hard to paint. It takes a long time for the paint to dry with the humidity. So we're coming into the painting season. So there you go, that's my update. Mowers are slowing down. I'm gonna shift over to this nasty thing. 170,000 miles, so kind of high miles, but these Toyotas will run and run and run. They're kind of like the Hondas, you can't beat them for durability. My brother's got a, a Camry now, so he's familiar with the Toyota line. This is just a little smaller than the Camry. 1.8 liter engine. It'll be good on gas mileage. Anyway, my son's coming out. We're going to look over his shadow, Honda shadow, maybe do some work to that. I got work to do on my Honda CRV. I got to start disassembling that. And all is good. Nice breeze out of the, the north, kind of cool things down today. So all is good at Tommy time. Plenty of projects, not a lot of time, you know how it goes. So we're going to keep plugging ahead. Appreciate you coming out. I'll throw some more videos at you. have been doing some projects this week with fixing generators. And I may grab a couple of mowers here to throw online. Some cheapy cheaps, I'm out of the... Um, baby 20s if i fixed a couple of those those would go quickly so i may grab a couple of those
baby 20s, get those out of the way and generate some business. As always, I appreciate you coming out, checking out Tommy Time. Please like and subscribe. And uh, tip your waitress and wait staff. They, they really appreciate your tips. They depend on your tips. And um, I'll catch you next time. We've got a Legion Airlines coming into town. He's slow and low and looking for the airport. So we're going to have some visitors here momentarily landing in southwest Florida. Have a nice day. Thanks. Atlanta, the Braves. That's not my home team, but we'll leave that there. Came with the car.